Hi, how are you? It's Trapson here, and welcome back to our adventures in Hardcore World of Warcraft. In the last episode, we slayed the Collector, and we leveled up our professions. And today, we are going to have a chat here with welcome Innkeeper to Allison. What can I do We're going to make Stormwind our home. Safe travels. And then I have to go to the bank and drop off some stuff. Just thinking about making some bombs, actually. Some rough copper bombs. But the problem is we don't have linen cloth, so I'm going to have to farm a little bit more linen cloth for us to do that. We made some copper tubes. Not too sure what we'll use with that, Welcome though. Welcome to the Bank of Stormwind. We offer financial accounts and safety deposit boxes for valuable items. All right, so let's drop already off have our an stuff. With us, sir? Do we already have an account? Yes, we do. We have an account with you guys. <laughs> and I'm going to go to the warrior trainer. We forgot to do that last episode. Okay, so let's drop off everything else. I don't think we need the spanner or the blacksmith hammer while we're out there. And then we'll drop off some of these bullets. And there we go, we're full. Safe travel. Also, we're gonna check the auction, uh, the bank, I mean the mail. I think we got some sales. So we're gonna make a little bit of coin and that's good because we will be using that to level up our warrior skills at the warrior trainer. And there's the mailbox right here. There we go, everything's sold. We made some coin, guys. We're back up to 40 silver. How about that? Alright, so let's have a chat here. What do you need directions to? Class trainer. Which class trainer are you looking for? The warrior. Check around Old Town at the Barracks or the Pig and Whistle Tavern. If you go to the tavern, be sure to sample some of the fine brews. Puts the dwarven ales to shame, I tell you. That was a, it's, it's awesome having that add-on. Voiceover is great. It's cool how you can like click on it and then he still reads it while you're like running away. And today we're going to farm some linen cloth, guys. I looked up a spot to farm it in Elwynn Forest, and the best place is the Eastvale Lumberjacks. Now, I wonder if we can even slay them, though. We might not be able to. Which would be too bad. Maybe we can fight the Defias? See if they drop any. I know that's the rogue trainer. Oh, war trainer up here. Rogue trainer's here as well. Greetings. Stormwind is the pillar of the human race, maintained through strength of will and the edge of a sturdy blade. All right. So let's see what we got here. Demoralizing shout. That's an awesome ability. Uses the melee attack power of all enemies within ten yards by thirty-five for thirty seconds. We got shield bash. This is like an interrupt. We read this before. Revenge. That's another good one. Okay, so we'll go with Demo Shout. Oh, man. I don't know what else to take. Overpower is pretty good, too. Try to get new abilities. We can only take one, though, here. Oh, actually, we can take uh, Shield Bash and Revenge. I think that's a good combo there or overpower and revenge Let's take the interrupt shield bash and revenge and now we're broke See you around. all right let's go farm gotta get some, get some more coin <laughs> hopefully we get some drops guys all right so here we go yeah i, I think the Eastvale Lumberjacks might not count for us. 
Because they're alliance, right? We can't slay a lot alliance, right? Like they're all neutral to us over there. We have to turn in a quest over there anyway, so we'll head down there. If that the, the thing is is they have the highest drop rate on linen cloth. Seventy five percent drop rate. It's great if you're a horde. There's other ones though. The Burning Blade Toxologist. Another one that's 75%. I just looked this stuff up on Wowhead. And then you just go by drop rate percentage. Yeah, let's get walking, guys. Head down to the Eastvale Logging Camp and we'll turn this quest in and then we'll slay some, some Defias. Let's see if they drop anything. So many mobs drop. Winning club. <laughs> Maybe I should go by location. Okay, Elwyn Forest. All the Defias dropped it. Pretty much any Defias mob we can find has a chance to drop a linen. So we'll do that. We'll just farm Defias mobs today. It's like a 50% chance to drop linen cloth. And we want to get a decent amount. We need, need at least... I'd like to get 40. And we've left our fishing rod back in the bank. And we kept these bolts for some reason. I should have got the fishing rod. Hopefully we have the item that we need to... Deliver to Marshall Hager, maybe? Supposedly this guy can drop linen cloth. Oh, we got a shield. Yeah, it's an interesting game now with, uh, the auction house. Uh, it's insane that, like, what you can purchase. It, it must be great being a high level. Like, if you really go hard and get a high level, you can just purchase so much stuff for cheap. Like, all these prices are going to go up eventually as more people start hitting level 60. Makes me kind of wish to level that I leveled a mage first. Like, if you can get a mage up to 60, you can just do these AoE farms out in the world, and you'll make so like so much coin just from uh, farming and and just looting and and vendoring the items. You don't even have to sell it on the auction house. Oh, you got a bandit here. It's nice that they're, we're still going to get XP for these guys. We're pretty safe now, though. Let's get these up on the bar. There goes some linen cloth right there. Shield bash I usually have is F. We don't have that on our bar yet, though. He's here. And then I'll have to do some some quick key binding. There we go, key binding. So we'll do shift E and then F here. There we go. Now we have revenge. Remember that being the key binds I used on my warrior back in the day those two abilities. Oh, looks like somebody got that copper. We'll fight this bear. Oh, 
But yeah, we got some profession leveling to do, guys. We won't be heading off to Elwyn until that's done. Or, I mean, Westfall. We're in no rush. Playing a warrior. It's gonna take our time. <laughs> and not, hopefully not die. We need to get target dummy as fast as we can. And another thing about the auction house, it kind of makes Al... Oh, a corpse guy. I think that might be a warrior or a rogue, yeah. Looks like a rogue. Rip. There's a lot of Defias around here. Probably got killed by them. They fighting somebody? Help him with the stock worker. No, this person's level 13 there. Okay. wonder if I can snipe that from him. Yeah, we got it. That guy must be pissed. <laughs> oh, man. That is hilarious. I'd be so pissed if that was me. Oh, man. We're taking it, though, man. This is... That's a rogue. A rogue would st steal. I've been, st I've had so many chests sniped for me. I don't care, man. It is what it is. This is actually a pretty good spot to farm linen. You know, just damage shield bash does a little bit. Might have to make a weak aura to that shows up for revenge. So you have to kind of pay attention. It instantly counterattacks an enemy for 12 to 14 damage and a high amount of threat. Revenge must follow a block dodge or parry. So you gotta like notice when you dodge block or parry, and then you can use it. Usually it's something that you can hear. We dodge there. He got oh, they dodged us. I'll keep on moving this way. Only got one linen cloth so far. Ellen Forest doesn't seem to be the best spot. The best mob in Elwyn for is a Defias alum ambusher. Find out where most of those guys are here. Oh, so they're right in front of they're right in front of Stormwind, actually. Interesting. It's kind of cool. They're like, supposedly they're all right here. And they're level 8 or 9. That's hilarious. You're like a low level. And you're, let's say you're like level 7 and a bias ambusher comes out of nowhere and ends your life. It's rough. Oh, it sounds like somebody else is farming. Is that that rogue? No more here. It's good. We'll need the copper. We're going to try to make as many bombs as we can. I didn't know they had levels like 8 to 9 Defias Ambushers close, like right outside of Stormwind. I never knew that. Yeah, back to what I was saying about Auction House being kind of kind of, like, I wouldn't say ruin some professions, but I don't think um, alchemy is that good anymore. Like, I think everybody should just go engineering. Because it's one, it's like an amazing, you can only use target dummy, I believe, if you're an engineer. Pretty sure. There's a lot of engineering tools like that. And 
all the alchemy stuff, like if you're not following any challenge, like you can just buy it on the auction house. There's people selling pots probably like crazy. Like alchemists? Alchemists are probably making some decent coin. Because people like, like if I ever do a dungeon, I'm probably going to want to have some coin. Enough coin for me to have like an armor pot. You know, a troll's blood pot for the, for the health regen. Like a strength pot, all that stuff. And you can just buy it on the auction house. I will admit this playing like hardcore this way, it is easier. It's a little, it's a lot less of an RPG because you're not like, you know, you're grouping, you can be grouping up with people and and trading with them. But it's it's still hardcore. Like, there's people with with decked out gear that get killed, and it's because they get a little too cocky with, with the gear that they have. Where's the ore at? Oh, here it is. Is there a chest over there? Let's see. Gotta watch out though. Murlocs still pretty tough. So like there's some more around here that we can get. Yeah, engineering. I'm I, I'm probably gonna start calling engineering on all my hardcore characters. It's just such a good, good profession. Like if you're a rogue, and you have um, I'll get rid of this guy, and then we'll fight these two. If you're a rogue and you have engineering, it's like you're so hard to kill. Like. Because you have, like, what, first thing you can do is you can drop target dummy. Target dummy doesn't work, then you vanish. Like, you're so hard to kill. And if you play it slow and you farm gold, and you just play it, you can play the auction house, you can have all the alchemy pots as well. <laughs> Like, I used to think alchemy was amazing, like, really good, because it pretty much gives you an, an entire item, like, all the stats you can get. It's pretty much an item. It's like having an extra item slot, and it's a pretty good item, too, when you get to... It's like an amazing item. Because you gotta get strength, you get, um, you get health regen, you get armor, you can have agility as well. Like you can have like, almost every pot up in classic, and that's what I did on my rogue for the most part. The only thing that sucks about engineering, it's a pain to level. But I think we're doing all right. Like alchemy herbalism is a much easier combo, that's for sure. Warrior bracers. And we can sell the any cop, extra copper we got. What the heck's that sound? What was that? What the heck was that? Is that in the game? I don't know. If, tell me if you guys heard anything weird there. Looks like a bunch of people cheering. Might not be in the game. It could be something on like an external browser or something like that. Could be something that's connected with the the add-ons. <laughs> this guy's last word. 
Level 2 warrior? Watch this hold my beer and he died. <laughs> That's funny, man. Alright, so we found some more Defias here. Hopefully we get a little bit of linen cloth as we clean this up. We're gonna get any levels here, but nobody's like level nine. Jack's the only guy we'll probably get XP from. Some of the prowlers are a high level though. I think the bandits here should be level ten, man. Like the wolves, there we go, two one cloth there. The wolves are from a higher level than the bandits. one of these wolves. Maybe we'll get some meat. But this is a decent spot right here for farming London cloth. I was thinking like this would be the good, like a good spot to come. See how, how how it goes. The only play thing that sucks about this spot is that they're one level under the amount where we get XP. It's too bad. Oh, linen cloth there. In the head. Gotta get out of here quick though, because he does spawn quite fast. There we go, we cleared out the Defias there. Say we didn't loot this one over here. I wonder if he drops anything good if you just keep fighting him. Yeah, he drops linen cloth. Maybe he's the guy to farm. You just wait here and wait for him to spawn while you just like, kill him over and over and over. His spawn rate's like, I don't know, it's pretty fast. It's like every five sec, like 20 seconds. You just fight the wolves while we wait. Make a little, get some food. We'll leave the cows alone, though. There he is. Look, he comes back very quick. Yeah, maybe Dead Tooth Jack is who we should be farming. We'll check that Stormwind spot out, but I'm a little worried that, like, we, we won't find many Defias ambushers. I assume they're stealth. Little 10 Murloc lurker over there. He parried us. Fire's defensive stance, so no wonder we haven't been getting it. Maybe we should go D stance, see what it's like. We lost all our rage there, but at least we'll get to revenge more. That's why it wasn't working. Got to be in D stance if you wanted to use revenge. It's been a while since I played Warrior. 
I think being in D stance is, is better, right? We're doing 10% less damage, but we're taking less damage as well. The problem with D stance is our bars suck. Interesting. Man, I'm rusty <laughs> as a warrior. <laughs> okay, we gotta set these bars up, guys. I don't even really need it as shift D, but I'll keep it as shift D for now. So we'll put charge there. How do we have it? Like hamstring? Hamstring is R, actually. Rogue strikes two. Charge is three. One is rend, I think. Thunderclap was like shift two. There's change our stances. Yeah, Sunder Armor. Sunder Armor was one. And then we have uh, our blinding, our bag of marbles <laughs> in slot four. All right, so let's go back in here. Oh, this guy's going the alchemy route. It's nice little pal to hook me up. Oh, this guy's coming to my... It's taking a... our spot here. This guy might have cloth on him. Oh, what the heck? Charge again here. So we can't charge. I've totally forgotten everything about Warrior. You ought to be in Battle Stance to charge. And that's what stance dancing is all about. And I promise you guys, I played a Warrior. Like, I have <laughs> videos of of me doing, like, all the raids on this channel and Classic on my Warrior. But it's just been a long time. So I guess we can do this. Charge in. Back to, back to Defensive Stance. Then we just build up our rage. Problem is when we do that, we lose all of our rage. It's kind of lame. Revenge doesn't do that much damage. Probably should have took overpower, to be honest. Who's this guy? Oh, wow. Let me take him out. Look at us. We're racking him. This guy's actually a rare. Get wrecked. But they're all back now. Oh, wow. That two jacks back again. Imagine we die here. That was so cool. He just killed a rare. Now we'll kill him here. Let's have a bite to eat right away. We are tanky, man. Surprised we were able to handle that rare. Thoros light fingers. Got a little bit of uh, a little bit of linen cloth from him. A little bit of stance stance in here. I'll get all the rust off eventually. It'll all come back to me. <laughs> but I'll be honest, like when I leveled first time on my Orc Warrior, 
I didn't play it this way. Like, I, I learned all this tank stance dancing stuff. I think later on, when I actually started tanking. I leveled as an arms warrior. And you could still, you still would stance dance a bit as an arms. I think I learned it all like level 30. When we got to like Scarlet Monastery. Maybe it was like a little early in the 20s. Wailing Caverns. Revenge is a great ability though. Don't do that much though. It's like a sliver of health. Let's have a bite to eat. Once we get a, a little bit too much stuff, we can head over to the Eastvale logging camp. I wonder if they have um, any anywhere for us to work there. Or to smell copper, because we could smelt this copper and actually do a little bit of engineering. We don't have any rough cop blasting powder, though. Could make copper modulators, but they're a little expensive on the linen cloth. Yeah, revenge barely does any damage. It's a must-have if you're tanking, though. A little bit of damage really helps with threat. We're still getting a decent amount of XP here. Just farming mobs. That's mostly what your questing XP comes from anyways. Like, the quests are, are alright. The majority of your XP comes from mobs. That's why the fastest... Uh, usually a mage gets, you know, first level 60s because they're you know, just daily farming barely doing any quests. This is pretty good. We're going to be leveling up our, our professions here. Get our cooking up as well. Wolf meat is now green, though. Got to make spiced wolf meat. I'm gonna get some mild spices. Oh, the burnt leather vest. Two spirit on that bad boy. Damn it. We'll have a bite to eat here and we'll throw this out. And we'll make our way over. Turn. Gonna make a little bit of coin off that, guys. It's probably, that's at least five silver right there. Very nice. Oh. 
It's another smart thing to do, too. Try to farm, like, rare elites. See if you can get, like, some nice drops. Like, if you get a blue item, you're gonna be balling, man. You just sell that for a couple gold, and you're you're on your way. I kind of like it though, even if like people deck out care like low level characters, like they're they're all hardcore characters. If you die on that character, it kind of does suck. You know, you put in like I don't know, hundred gold, maybe like fifty to hundred gold into <laughs> into like blues, and then he just dies because you get a little too cocky. Who's that? Burlgard, is that you? You'll have to step a little closer. My eyes aren't what they used to be. Walking up like that, I thought you were a knoll. All right. Burlgard sent you, did he? Yes, I have spare weapons around here, but first I have a task for you. Uh oh. A while ago, a defias villain, Deadtooth Jack, tricked me. It was dark, and he was wearing a Stormwind tabard, and I thought he was Marshal Dugan. He said he needed my old Stormwind Marshal's badge, and I gave it to him. And then he laughed and ran off before I could catch him. Get back my badge. Deadtooth Jack probably has it stowed in his camp to the south. All right, well, we've dealt with Jet Dead 2's Jack like 10 times right now. So we'll go do that. Oh, yeah. Gotta go to the vendor. But yeah, if you're a Horde player and you need linen cloth and you're not scared of the Horde or the Alliance attacking you, you just come to Elwyn Forest and s slay the loggers here. Supposedly they have... Uh, Pretty high drop chance on linen. You need something? Okay, get rid of this. Get rid of that. This food, we don't need water. Anything else? Back piece? No. There we go. Need some mild spices if we want to cook any of the food. Yeah, these guys here. These Eastvale Lumberjacks. They have a 75% drop rate on linen cloth. You need something? We can buy wood See off these later. guys. Hello. They're level 7. Probably some high levels here, though. Like level 18, the boyer sees you, you're dead. <laughs> He'll take you down. Yeah, I know it's not as hardcore as the challenge, but it's still fun. And the pr another issue is it's going to promote, since like gold's such a, a good thing to have to help you survive. Um... There's going to be gold selling. 100%. But I don't know why the heck any... Like, why would you buy gold, man? You know what I mean? Like, this, <laughs> this ruins the challenge. I don't mind it if you earn it and then you trade and then you buy some nice stuff. That's cool. But, like, buying gold so you can get a character decked out so it's easier to level, it's, it's kind of a joke. I got dead too, Jack. Don't worry. I got him. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Swore you saved my life. Now I gotta give him a little bit of fortitude. There we go, we got Dead Tooth's key. Let's open up this chest. So this is the warrior quest, I believe. For the for the alliance. I think we got some more people over here farming bandits. Try to fill up our bags once again. We'll head back. Yeah. 
keep fighting dead, dead tooth Jack over and over again. <laughs> he has a chance to drop greens. Like, it's worth it. Especially at our level. Got two of those keys now. I think those these people are trying to kill them all. I'll let them get the next one. Greens aren't that much, though. What did this guy say Rekka. Rogue died. The mobs down there are big spook. Rogue's actually kind of a, a weak class from like 10 to from like 1 to 20. Really gotta watch out. If you can survive until you get vanish, then you'll be pretty safe. Yeah, I'd probably go engineering every time if I if I if I'm able to trade. Engineering's kind of tough to level. It's not that bad though. It's just, just there isn't as many ores out there. Like when we have to find tin, it's gonna take us a while to find tin. Copper's not too bad, but there's some ores out there that are just a pain to farm. We've been here for almost an hour. This warrior's doing this quest as well. We got 10 silver at the moment. Which means we'll be able to afford another warrior ability. He's already back. How about that? Hope we get to see that rare again. It spawned. He didn't really drop anything that good. First time we fought him. Yeah, I recommend playing uh, Fraud Warrior. I know it's not as, like, fun as, as I guess, maybe using a two-hander. She hit a lot harder, but for hardcore, it's it's pretty chill. I think it saved my life a couple of times. Like, if we weren't uh, using a shield against uh, Hogger, I think Hogger probably would have killed us. For sure. Also, shield's awesome. You have a chance to blo like completely block an attack. I can save your life. You take less damage, so you can just run next to, like mob to mob. Problem is, you just do less damage. It just takes a little bit longer to take mo take them down. We're getting some win in here. We're almost at 20. And then we'll have some more bombs to use.
There's a bear there. Is bear meat any good for us right now? It's just really the wolf meat and the beer bastard boar ribs. We'll just keep on fighting Dead Tooth Jack. And I think an original classic. Although I'll just let him have the next one. Here. We can have the next one. Imagine he gets a green. <laughs> Whatever, it's only five silver. It's not a big deal. Imagine he gets a blue. No, that would be rough. I think he'll be okay. Yeah, see, this guy's going two hand sword. Playing battle stance. Not going to have any trouble at all. Stance, stance. Charge on over. We're safer in defensive stance. Probably don't need to be in defensive stance, though. Should be <laughs> just fine. Well, we got two here. It's really good that we're in defensive stance. I why we can't... That's battle stance? I didn't... Thunderclap's battle stance? Oh yeah, and we have another ability. I'm, I'm lost today, I guess. Forgot about uh, battle demo, demo shot. Make that two, I guess. Should really just put this on our bars here. Make like shift three, and then put demo shot as shifty. There's no stance you need for Demo Shot. Gotta start using that more often. Demo Shot him. Just warming up, guys. Getting used to the Warrior here. It's been a while. Like, if you think about it, I've leveled uh, like almost every class in the game since I played Warrior. So it's it's been a long time. The only classes I haven't leveled on the channels monk but i did play a monk in, in shadowlands i actually raided on a in brewmaster monk and i have played it i haven't leveled a demon hunter on the channel but i have played demon hunter quite a bit in battle for azeroth and in the mage tower i actually did the demon hunter challenges because i thought the war glaives you got from them in the mage tower during i think legion they were pretty damn cool, so I made sure I did those. I, I did the Druid and the, the Demon Hunter Mage Tower. I just really like the weapons that you got for Transmog. But I haven't played Demon Hunter on the channel either. Warlock or Priest. I think those are the last four. I'll try to get some playthroughs with those classes eventually. We're buffed up though right now, guys. We got Mark of the Wild, Fortitude. 
This is why when you do a dungeon, you want to have a group with a druid. You want to have a priest. You want a warrior, a paladin. Probably want you, yeah, you want all all four of those classes. And then you get Battle Shout, Fortitude, Mark of the Wild, Thorns. And I think you would probably want a Feral Druid. How'd this guy come from? Good demo shot. I'm not going to attack him until he switches. Just run away from him. I'm not, so right now, that guy, he's not tagged for her. It's like tagged with the other foot. There you go. <laughs> I'm gonna go fight that bandit. That dude's jack's already back up. Nice. Nice shot. Gypsy sandals. How about that? But yeah, probably a feral druid would benefit the most from, from those buffs. And the cool thing about having a feral druid, they can, like, back up tank. Like, you can like, have two tanks. Because Druids can, I think Feral Druids have Taunt as well, right? So, or do they in Classic? I think only Warriors have Taunt. Not too sure. But Druids can tank. As long as they can just build up their threat on a mob and just tank it in bear form. So that's pretty damn awesome. And then you give them battle shout so their melee attack power is higher. So you can have two guys tanking mobs. You'll have like, I don't know, either a priest or a paladin heals. I think the best healer would probably be like a priest. <laughs> this is just for straight up survivability. I'm not saying it's the best group. Like you're not going to farm. You're not going to get through the dungeon the fastest. But for survivability, you got... Feral Druid, you know, Warrior Tank, uh, Rhett Paladin, giving you the blessings. And then you have, um, or if you're a Horde Shaman, probably an Enhanced Shaman. And then you have a Priest Healer, and then you get Fortitude. And then you can just pick any other class after that. I would probably say... Like a mage. Anything that they can just do a lot of AoE. The mage will give intellect, right? To the priest. So, a little bit more mana. For the for the priest, paladin, and druid as well. And then you got all the buffs. Or you just go with like a, a second warrior. Or rogue. Another class that can benefit from Battle Shout and the Paladin uh, Might Blessing. That would be a pretty good group. Maybe that's what we'll go for when we start doing dungeons. Yeah, if any of you guys want to do dungeons, just give me a shout in the comments. And we're, we're around the same level. And just, and just remember the videos I have, they're like a couple days ahead, so I'm probably a level or two higher than when you're watching it. I just like to keep the videos a little bit ahead, just so in case of an emergency, videos keep coming out, right?
That would be good. Rat Paladin, Feral Druid, Warrior Tank, Mage, any, the, the fifth spot's pretty much a flex, and then you have like a Healer Priest. Dwarf Priest would be amazing, because, right, you get Fear Ward from Dwarf Priest, but the thing is, is like, we're not going to run into many boss like dungeon bosses that do that it's, it's actually more it's, it's better for raid because anixia and a nefarian fear i guess we're gonna get both of them I'm going to be messing with my keybinds quite a bit. Like, I don't even know if I like the way I have it set up right now, but we'll figure it out. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if I like food there. Maybe we should have Battle Shout here. Let's put the food somewhere else, like random spot. She can just click food, right? Let's put it there. Over here, more so on steak. And then we'll put, you know, put this back here. It's just easier to see when it's in the middle. Like, I don't notice it rock as much. Which is why I should probably get a weak ore that just pops up here. Weak ore is like an add on that just helps you notice things. It's good for like trinket procs and ability procs, like. Revenge, if you don't notice that you blocked or parried an attack while in, you know, defensive stance. Sorry, guys, if this is, like, a little boring, but... What you gotta do. It's not what you gotta do, but it's how I, it's how I play hardcore. Take my time. I level up my professions. And this is a decent spot. You know, we've, we've been here for an hour now, and we got close to 28... Uh, 28 linen. And maybe we'll go... We're going to keep coming back here. We might even do another episode of this, because we need to get our first aid up, too. Like, we should have... should have heavy linen cloth... Or band I mean, heavy linen bandages by now. We'll get another green from this guy. But once we hit level uh, 15, this place is going to kind of suck. With all these bandits, even the level 9s, will be giving us XP. We'll only get an XP from Dead Tooth Jack. Which is not that good. Probably have to move on after that. We'll find other ways to get linen cloth. We can get linen cloth off of mobs that are around our level. What's our bags doing? Almost full on loot. We're almost at 15 silver. Get a couple of cooking levels here. Like, probably close to the 80. Okay. Fight these two. Westfall Deed. What the heck? Took us a while to get that. 
This is the deed to an expanse of farmlands within Westfall. This signed by Theodore Furlbro and co-signed by his wife, Verna. And on the back of the deed are hastily scrawled words. We leaned on Furlboro and got his deed. Thought it might be handy if you wanted to forge one of these for your own place. The Furlboros won't give us trouble. The last I saw them, they were on their way out of Westfall, stuck with a broken wagon. You think the Furlboros might want their deed back? All right, so there we go, guys. We've got a qu another quest to turn in in Westfall. Just at the beginning of it right there. Level 9 quest. Maybe we'll head over to Westfall next episode. We should hit level 15. And there's probably some places to farm linen cloth there as well. Could just journey over there and uh, Need help? get um, get the flight point. Dead Tooth Jack, do you have my badge? I don't want to think of the mischief Dead Tooth Jack could cause with it. Great, you found it. I feared it was gone forever, used by the Defias to impersonate a Stormwind official. Well, that won't happen now, thanks to you. Here are some weapons I used when I was a marshal. I kept them in great shape. Take your pick. I wonder what costs the most. I think there's an add-on that tells you that. I we'll just take the sword. It's the same as our other sword. For the alliance. There we go. Thank you, Travisine, and good luck. All right, so let's go sell our junk. This sword, sword's durability's down quite a bit, so I guess we'll just switch swords. Pretty much looks the exact same. Yeah, it's pretty much the same sword. A little bit different. Good day to you. Okay, so let's sell our junk. Maybe we should have kept the blue. The blue, but we're going to get a bunch of wolf meat, so... Should be eating that. We have also have a bunch of rat kebabs we haven't been eating. 189 armor on that shield. It's an upgraded shield right there. Get rid of this old blade. Don't need any of the water. And that should be it for now. Alright. Looking pretty good. Nothing else to get rid of. Let's See head back around. to Stormwind, guys. I'm holding on to this gun for a while. I should probably check the guns we drop. Get that drop so we can get a better one. We got 25 silver all from that farm, guys. Nice little farm there. But yeah, guys, I think that is going to be the end of today's episode. Just getting over an hour now. And next episode, we will do, do a couple more things. We'll probably just do some stuff in town, and then maybe we'll make our way to Westfall, and we'll turn in some of these quests and we'll make our way over to this uh, Griffin Master as well so yeah, we'll see how we do there but that is the end of today's episode guys as always thanks for watching keep your heads up later mm -hmm.